Hey everybody, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and today I wanted to talk about why you should book an inside stateroom on your next Royal Caribbean cruise. So often people want to know if staying in an inside room is a great idea or not, so on this video I invite you to squeeze in as we share all the reasons you should book an inside stateroom. A common question for guests planning a Royal Caribbean cruise is whether they should save money by booking an inside stateroom or maybe pay a bit more for the amenities, size, and view that you get with a balcony stateroom. They want to know, is it worth it to pay extra for a balcony cabin on a cruise and do I really need a room with a balcony or will an inside room do just fine? So today we've got six of the best reasons to stay in an inside stateroom on your next Royal Caribbean cruise. First up, you may not spend that much time in your stateroom. Royal Caribbean offers so much to see and do on board at ships and in the ports that you'll visit that often I think you're going to find that you'll not want to spend that much time in your staterooms to begin with. If you'll be busy spending time away from your room most of the day, then an inside stateroom would make a lot of sense because, frankly, why invest in space? You will not spend a lot of time in it. All of Royal Caribbean staterooms offer the same basic amenities, so if you plan on enjoying every second of your cruise experience, an inside stateroom may not make a lot of sense. The number two reason to stay in an inside stateroom is it can be a really good choice if you're susceptible to motion sickness. If you're prone to motion sickness, the best location for a stateroom is to be low and to the center of the ship to reduce the sensation of movement. When you talk about staterooms that are on a lower deck and towards the middle of the ship, we're usually talking about inside staterooms. Now, obviously, an inside stateroom in this location is not a guarantee to avoid getting motion sickness, but everything you can do to lessen the triggers of motion sickness will benefit you. Next up. Inside staterooms does not always mean small. When people hear the word inside stateroom, they usually start imagining a really small room that's like more like a closet. The truth is not all inside staterooms are necessarily small. Royal Caribbean offers a few different subcategories of inside staterooms and some do offer quite a bit of space. As an example, a large interior stateroom category can offer up to 178 square feet of space and the family interior stateroom ranges in space between 260 square feet to all the way up to 324 square feet. One of my favorite reasons to stay in an inside stateroom is it's great for sleeping. Here, I'm going to show you. Look at that. See how dark it is in here? Well, that's pretty much how dark it can get sometimes in an inside stateroom. Maybe it's just me, but sleeping in an inside stateroom is perfect if you like somewhere that is pitch dark, lots of air conditioning, and maybe the slight movement of the ship rocks you to sleep. Sometimes when the sun rises and the light starts to peek through the windows of a balcony stateroom, it becomes hard to sleep in. With an inside room, it will look the same in the room whether it's 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. When you add that gentle movement of the cruise ship, it adds up to being a great sleeping spot for naps or at night, frankly. Also, Royal Caribbean's added probably one of the most interesting inside stateroom options available on some of the ships called the Virtual Balcony. The saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. And so, on newer Royal Caribbean ships, as well as some of the refurbished older ships, inside staterooms have been transformed with the addition of a Virtual Balcony. And a Virtual Balcony are inside staterooms that have an 80-inch LED television that provides a live feed of outside your ship to give guests a view just like a real balcony stateroom would offer. This is a really cool technology, and once you see it in person, I think you'll be impressed by the option. You may never look at an inside stateroom the same way again. But of course, the number one reason why you want to stay in an inside stateroom is the cost savings. Without a doubt, the best reason to book an inside stateroom is for the cost savings relative, of course, to other stateroom categories. Oftentimes, inside staterooms are the least expensive option, which means you can spend a lot less money on your cruise vacation or have more money to spend during the cruise on things like drinks, shore excursions, especially restaurants, or anything else that's on sale, frankly. Unfortunately, not all of us have budgets that can allow for booking other stateroom categories, but nonetheless, an interior room will get you on board the same ship as someone who in a pricier stateroom category, and any cruise vacation is better than no cruise vacation. For inside stateroom fans, there are plenty of public spaces on board to enjoy views any time of the day or night, and a promenade deck, helipad on some ships, and pool decks give you plenty of outdoor space when you just need to quote-unquote get out. The interior staterooms are not for everyone, but we have nothing against them. If it's the difference between going on a cruise or not, we'll gladly stay in an interior staterooms.